good morning everyone this is madhavi working as a second grade teacher in mpp school venkatagiri rajamahendravaram rural mandal east godavari district now i am going to give a brief review on day 4 webinar by shobha ma'am she is assistant professor of english anna university chennai she started her session with recapitulation on previous day webinars మొదటి రోజు ఆమె తీసుకున్న అంశము రీవిజిటింగ్ లెర్నింగ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ సిఎల్యూపీ అండ్ అడాప్టింగ్ టు ద చేంజ్ ఇన్ న్యూ కరిక్యులం రాబోయే విద్యా సంవత్సరం నుంచి అమలు కాబోతున్న ఇంగ్లీష్ మాధ్యమాన్ని ఏ విధంగా మనం ఆహ్వానించాలి అలాగే ఛాలెంజెస్ని ఎలా ఎదుర్కోవాలి ఇంగ్లీష్ లాంగ్వేజ్లో మనకు గల గ్యాప్స్ను ఎలా సరిచేసుకోవాలి బెస్ట్ ప్రాక్టీసెస్ మొదలైన వాటి గురించి వివరించడం జరిగింది అలాగే సొసైటీ డిమాండ్స్కు అనుగుణంగా మారబోతున్న నూతన విద్యా ప్రణాళికను ఎలా ఆకలింపు చేసుకోవాలి దానికి మనం చేయవలసిన ప్రయత్నాలు ఏమిటి మన బోధనాభివృద్ధికి అలాగే విద్యార్థుల్లో బోధనా స్థాయిని పెంచడానికి మనం ఏం చేయాలి హౌ వీ అడాప్ట్ టు ద న్యూ కరిక్యులం అండ్ రోల్ ఆఫ్ టీచర్స్ మొదలైన అంశాల గురించి పునర్విమర్శ చేయడం జరిగింది తర్వాత రెండవ రోజు అంశాలైన వాట్ మేక్స్ ఏ గుడ్ టీచర్ అండ్ టీచర్ మోటివేషన్ ఒక మంచి ఉపాధ్యాయుడికి ఉండవలసిన లక్షణాలు ఏమిటి అలాగే ఒక మంచి ఉపాధ్యాయుడి నుంచి గొప్ప ఉపాధ్యాయుడిగా మనం ఏ విధంగా మారాలి టీచర్ మోటివేషన్ అండ్ స్టూడెంట్ మోటివేషన్ మొదలైన అంశాల గురించి వివరించారు అలాగే ఒక పనిని మనం నిరంతరం విజయవంతంగా చేస్తూ పోవాలంటే మనల్ని మనం ఎప్పుడు మోటివేట్ చేసుకోవాలని అలాగే తరగతి గదిలో మనం ఎప్పుడు మోటివేటెడ్గా ఉన్నప్పుడే విద్యార్థుల్లో కూడా అలాంటి స్వభావం ఏర్పడుతుందని గతంలో మనకు చెప్పారు మూడు రోజుల అంశాలను క్లుప్తంగా వివరించి నాలుగవ రోజు వెబినార్ సెషన్ని మొదలు పెట్టడం జరిగింది ద డే ఫోర్ టాపిక్ ఈజ్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ యంగ్ లెర్నర్స్ షీ స్టార్టెడ్ హర్ సెషన్ విత్ ఎ మీనింగ్ ఫుల్ కోట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ టేక్స్ ఎ బిగ్ హార్ట్ టు టీచ్ లిటిల్ మైండ్స్ బై జిమ్ హెన్సన్ వీ ఆల్ నో వెరీ వెల్ దట్ అవర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఆల్వేస్ ఎగ్జైటెడ్ టు లెర్న్ సో వీ నీడ్ టు షేప్ అవర్ క్లాస్ రూమ్ యాజ్ ఎ ప్లేస్ ఫర్ గ్రేట్ లెర్నింగ్ she has given a road map for the session the first one is who are young learners next how children learn the third one is how children learn in new languages and the fourth one is managing young learners in the classroom and the fifth one is q and a the first topic is who are young learners we know that young learners are usually somewhere between 11 to 12 years old children almost they are primary school children they are always having versatile kind of thoughts style interests attitude and learning so as a teachers we need to understand about our young learners at least in our classroom before going to teach something to our children she has given some characteristics of young learners they are challenging they like rewards they have great energy they have patience they like sing songs they like to play games they give big gestures she has left a brainstorming question to us she asked to write some few words on characteristics of young learners immediately one characteristic highlighted in my mind that is they are very curious hope you could agree with this she has given some characteristics of young learners those are active energetic spontaneous can't sit still touches things she said these are all scientifically proven characteristics later she explained about kinesthetic learning kinesthetic learning means which is a style in which learning takes place by the students carrying out physical activities rather than listening lecture or watching demonstrations which is closely related to the theory of multiple intelligence she explained about howard gardner's theory of multiple intelligence gardner says that all human beings have multiple intelligences he has proposed eight types of uh, multiple intelligences they are verbal linguistic intelligence mathematical logical intelligence musical intelligence visual spatial intelligence bodily kinesthetic intelligence interpersonal t- intelligence intrapersonal intelligence and naturalist intelligence later she told about a game simon says in this game we will give some instructions for example simon says stand up simon says touch your feet 
Simon says, touch your nose like that. The children will follow accordingly. This is the playway activity. She told about one more characteristics of young learners, imaginative and curious. She suggested that fairy tales helps our children to explore themselves in imagination and improves curiosity. And we know that our young children easily get distracted and will have short attention span. They easily switch over to the other things. Later, she said all activities that are taken by us in classrooms must be developmentally appropriate to the children. The next topic is how children learn. Three scientists were famous in for doing research on children. They are Jean Piaget, Lev Vygotsky, Jerome Brunner. She has given two options for teachers in those. What would we pick as a best strategy to teach about scissors to our children? Either we ask them to read the definition in dictionary or we will explain them the purpose of scissors and how to hold the scissors. Obviously, our answer is two. Here are three definitions given by famous researchers. The first one is children learn by doing. They are active learners by Jean Piaget. Children learn through social interaction by Lev Vygotsky. Children learn through scaffolding by adults by Jerome Brunner. Later she asked some questions based on these definitions. This is the picture. It shows a painter webbed some sticks for painting building for support. Just scaffolding is also like that. Scaffold means support. How do we scaffold? There are four steps. The first one is create interest in the task. The next one is break the task down into smaller steps. And the third one is model your expectations. And the fourth one is remind students the purpose of the activity. We know that our young learners are always good at repeating. So we have to be as a model as per our expectations. Here is a question for us. How do children learn? As per the Jean Piaget definition, children are active learners and thinkers. So answer is active. By the definition of Lev Vygotsky, children learn through social interactions. So answer is social. As per the definition of Jerome Brunner, children learn effectively through scaffolding by adults. So answer is scaffolding. The next topic is how do children learn a new language? As per the critical period hypothesis, the right age for learning a new language is in between 2 to 12 years. Next, is English used outside the classroom? How important is teaching grammar to young learners? It's very important. It's somewhat important. It's not very important. It's not important at all. It's very important. Approach to teaching grammar, that is learning center. Here a definition. Meaningful and interesting require active participation from learners and will work with how children learn and what they are capable of learning by Linne Cameron. These are the some tips to teach grammar to our children. Learning centered and meaning focused. Repetition and recycling of long ways. Avoid too much of grammatical explanations. Through the context and meaningful repetition, also children learn grammar. By using some imperative sentences, we make our children to improve their grammar. For example, bring a glass of water or give me a pencil like that. Make words comprehensible, visuals, flashcards, gestures, body movements, realia, graphic organizers. We need to remember Young learners do not get the chance to use English outside the classroom. Children begin learning language by listening us. Real communication puts language in action and promotes interaction. We know that our children always imitate us. So that 
we need to pronounce words clearly speak slowly don't speak unnaturally these are the some tips to our teachers we need to repeat and rephrase and use shorter and simpler sentences and always be a model as per our expectations and we need to translate difficult words into native language only when necessary and create plenty of opportunities to listen and repeat these are the better ways to teach grammar in our classrooms which is a better way to teach grammar this is a question for us there are two options one nominative case and the second is storytelling obviously the answer is storytelling ante manamu grammar rules ne vi detailed ga chepto pokunda simple ga imperative sentences ni indaka cheppina vidhanga manam upayogistho grammar ni pillalaki manam sulabhataranga nerpochu so we need to follow learning center meaning focused approach to grammar to teach our children the final topic is managing young learners in the classroom here is a question for us teachers are managers of what do teachers manage here some answers time activities transitions student behavior conflicts classroom atmosphere feelings use of language how do teachers manage manage behavior with routines and rules manage the pace of the class manage the classroom climate manage the language used in class that means manamu nirdeshinchukunna konni niyamalu rules evaithe unnayo avi vidyarthulu follow ayya vidhanga chuddam next we have to manage the pace of the class vidyarthulu ఆలోచించుకోవడానికి కొంత సమయాన్ని అనగా త్రీ టు ఫైవ్ సెకండ్స్ నిస్తూ తరగతి కృచి నిర్వహణ లేదా తరగతి గది నిర్వహణ చేయడం నెక్స్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు మేనేజ్ ద క్లాస్ రూమ్ క్లైమేట్ ఒత్తిడి లేని ఆహ్లాదకరమైన వాతావరణంలో బోధన జరగడానికి చిన్న చిన్న రిఫ్రెష్మెంట్ యాక్టివిటీస్ మొదలైన వాటిని నిర్వహించడం లాస్ట్ వన్ వీ నీడ్ టు మేనేజ్ ద లాంగ్వేజ్ used in class must be in english the waiting time for managing the pace of the class is almost 3 to 5 seconds next we have to manage our classroom climate by using brain breaks these brain breaks will help our children for cope up the new energy next we need to manage our classroom by using english also it is very important that is the usage of mother tongue as a resource when required she ended her session with a meaningful quote all teachers must remember kids don't remember what we try to teach them but what we are these are some reference books given by her She has ended the session with Q&A. Thank you for watching this video. Just I made this video for a brief review on day 4 webinar. I am keeping series of videos in my channel Madhavi Vlogs. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.